Hey YouTube, welcome to episode 18 of my investment journey series. This, as always, is a series right here on my YouTube channel where I take you guys through all my trading 212 investments from the previous week. We'll look at how my portfolio is looking, we'll look at what things I've bought into, what things I've sold, if there's been any dividends received in the past week, and just kind of talk about what I'm looking to do for the upcoming week. If you're new to these videos, just remember I'm a complete beginner. I've never invested before. I only started doing this back beginning of April as we entered lockdown here in the UK. Check out my other videos. I've actually got a whole playlist where I'm documenting this entire journey. I've been sharing since I first started investing here on Trading212. I've been sharing my whole journey with you YouTube guys just to kind of keep myself accountable in a way. I'm uploading a video once a week of my portfolio, doing this whole portfolio review and it just helps keep me accountable and hopefully it also helps somebody who's a complete beginner look and start investing, somebody who's maybe new with Trading212. So if that's you out there, really hope these videos help. If that's interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel, hit the subscribe button below, like the video if you do, because it really helps the whole YouTube algorithm, helps get these videos in front of more people who might be interested in watching these sort of videos. So I'd really appreciate that. We're now over 300 subscribers, which just blows my mind. I know I'm still a small YouTuber, not been doing this a long time. Just to see the growth, although it might be quite s slow growth, a lot of you out there who are established YouTubers who have been doing this for a long time, to me, I think to have over 300 subscribers already is just amazing. So hopefully it continues. Hopefully I can keep sharing what I'm learning, sharing my portfolio with you guys. As always, we're now going to jump over to my iPhone screen. I'll open up the Trading212 app, as I always do, and I'll take you guys through how the portfolio is looking for me. We'll look at how things were last week. We'll look at how things are now before the markets open for this coming week. And yeah, just we'll take things from there. So as it stands, my portfolio is showing a value of £6,583.44. If we look at last week here, so I'll go in the graph and select last week. So Monday 27th of July at 4 o'clock in the morning, we're showing a return of £235.39 which was 3.63% up on the portfolio. And if I then let go and we'll see what it's looking at today. Wow, not good. Down to £27.31, showing a return of 0.42% up on the portfolio. Looking on this graph here, we can see, especially Thursday into Friday, is when it took its steepest drop, went from a value of £238 all the way down to around the £48. 33 to 40 ish pound mark and it didn't really recover and then it dropped again further as the markets closed so yeah not been a great week let's now head down to my investments as i always do and see what's been going on so we'll first of all have a quick glance at them here so we're showing green green red green 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 red green red 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 green red and green so a bit of a mix again start with american airlines they're down 2.19% from last week. So my investment, my two free shares, again, thanks to you lovely people out there signing up through my referral links on Trading212. That's how I first got into American Airlines. My two free shares with them are showing a value of £16.98. So a return of £1.92 on the portfolio for this investment. Head down to Cineworld Group. This is a new one to the portfolio this week. So I bought into Cineworld Group earlier this week when they had a significant drop in their price. So if you can see here, Tuesday into Wednesday, they dropped considerably. And then Wednesday morning, I decided I wanted to open a position with Cineworld Group. So I did buy 200 shares, which is equal to £76.52. So that's currently showing a return of 82p. So we're 1.08% up. I wish I did wait a bit longer because you can then see it did drop further and it came all the way down to here. So that was on Wednesday, later through the day. So around Wednesday lunchtime, if I bought in then, that would have been the perfect time to do so. But again, we can't time the market. We're not time travellers here. We're just doing the best we can. But I would say I still got on at a good point there. And I'm happy with that. And hopefully I noticed some profit with this one. Down to Hive Group. Nothing's changed with this one in terms of how much shares I've got. Looking from last week, it's actually up 1.61% from last week. So it's actually climbed quite well through the Thursday into the Friday. And my investment, my 25 shares are now showing a return of minus £9, 31.08% down on this investment. But the fact they're starting to climb is good news. Hopefully this will continue. We'll just have to see what happens in the coming weeks. Coming down to iShares Core FTSE 100, my biggest investment on my portfolio. A lot of companies have taken a big hit. 
that's quite evident here. Looking at the graph, it's dropped considerably, especially the plunge off on the Thursday into Friday. Looks like we've just kind of fallen off a cliff here and it's not really recovered at all as Friday came to a close. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the FTSE 100 but as the markets open again tomorrow morning. From last week, they're actually it's down 3.21% overall. Not great, especially when you consider the fact it is one of my biggest investments. So I have 316 units in the FTSE 100, which is total of £1,841.86 value. Still showing a return with this investment of £52.99, which is 2.96% up. Yes, if you look at it that way, it's still good news. And this is still definitely helping to prop up the overall value of my portfolio. But it's just been such a significant hit and that is why things have came tumbling down so much. Moving on to S&P 500. From last week it's actually down 1.93%. My investment's not changed from the last video I did. I've still got 72 units in the S&P 500 which is a value of £1,772.63. So it's a return at the moment of £83.20. 4.92% up in the portfolio with this investment. I do want to increase my position in the S&P 500 and I do want this to overtake my FTSE 100 investments. I just feel there's a lot more value in the S&P 500 than there is in the FTSE 100 right now. Let's move down to the NASDAQ 100. I think it's actually been a good week for the technology sector. It looks like it started to climb considerably Thursday and Friday. I do think a lot of that was down to Apple. I heard some good things about them and Apple's obviously in the NASDAQ 100. So good news there, I guess. This is another one I'm definitely wanting to increase my position in in the future. I've just got a lot of faith in the technology sector. It's not going anywhere. It's only con going to continue to grow, in my opinion. It's probably one of the only sectors right just now that's actually continuing to grow and do well, considering everything that's going on in the world. But that's just my thoughts. So my investment with the NASDAQ 100 here, one unit, £463.35. pence. Currently shown a return of £31.23, which is 7.23% up on the portfolio. Next up, we've got the iShares S&P 500 healthcare sector. From last week, it's a 0.13% up, so 0.13% increase. So I've still got 38 units, it's not been a change there. A value of £227.23. And as we're seeing with all the other investments on this video, the drop on Thursday into Friday is significant. Next up, legal in general group. This is showing a 1.11% down from last week. 145 shares equal £310.45 value. Currently showing a return of £14.93, so 5.05% up on the portfolio of this investment. And once again, as we're seeing with everything else, the Thursday into Friday drop is considerable. It's plummeted all the way down. The good news is it looked like it did start to recover again as the market came to a close on Friday. So we'll see how this opens up tomorrow morning. MGM Resorts is next up here. My five shares not looking too great with this one overall. However, from last week, it's 1.84% up. So that's some positivity there. It's starting to climb, perhaps. My investment, it's only five shares, which equals £61.42 value. Currently showing a return of £28.31. So we're actually down 31.55% with this investment. But again, think long term and hopefully when things get back to more normal, it will continue to grow. Next up here is National Grid. Looking at the weekly view, climbed considerably on the Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we're seeing that same drop that we've been seeing in everything else so far, Thursday and Friday. And it did start to recover again into the Friday as markets began to close. So my three shares, my three free shares... That tongue twister always gets me. Value £27.11. We're down with this one 4.07% overall. And from last week, it's a 0.09% drop. Let's see how National Grid plays out over Monday, Tuesday when the markets are back open and we'll see what the price is looking at. Next up, we have Shell. From last week, this is probably one of the worst ones to look at right just now. Down 8.55% from last week. Considerable drops here. There's been a few things in the news about Shell recently. They're uh, talking about starting to look at doing voluntary redundancies and it's just not looking good at all for oil right now still but again i'm still hopeful with this one thinking long term yeah it doesn't look great just now but once the world starts to get back to more normality i really do believe this will go shooting back up again to get into oil as an investment now is definitely the time to do so in my opinion because the price has been so low so looking at my investment here i have 78 shares so nothing's changed from last week and that is showing £851.13 value, those 78 shares. So I'm actually down. My return on this investment is down just now, £142.73. So we're actually down 14.36% with this investment. From last week, 8.55% drop. That is, again, extremely significant. 
So we're now seeing the FTSE 100, the S&P 500 and my Shell, which are three of my biggest investments in the portfolio. They've taken a massive drop from last week. However, even taking all that into account, we're still seeing the overall portfolio value being up. Again, it was only the £20, but still up. So got to take some positivity from that and think of the light at the end of the tunnel here. Next up's Under Armour, two shares, nothing's changed. I've not added to this one at all. Again, returning watchers, you know, these are two free shares I received when people signed up through my referral links. And that is currently showing a value of 16 pounds five pence. A nice healthy return of 5p. Not much you can buy with 5p these days. Lots and lots of nice things. That is a 0.31% up on the portfolio with this investment. So from last week, it's actually dropped 3.75%. Another one to watch as the markets open tomorrow. We'll see if this one starts to climb. Coming down to Valaris, returning watchers, subscribers, you know this was when I took a complete gamble on and it still hasn't worked out for me. So from last week, we're down 37.98%. Massive drop on the Thursday into the Friday, as we've seen with everything else. They were also hit badly. And my investment's now sitting at 26 shares. Again, same 26 shares as last week. And those 26 shares are now worth £7.77. Not great at all. Showing a return of negative £36.74. So this investment probably gets the award for being my poorest investment overall in the portfolio because it is now down 82.54%. And last but not least here, we have the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets. And looking at the weekly view, they are down 2.25% from last week, which is a shame. But again, we're seeing that significant drop the Wednesday into Thursday and the Thursday into Friday especially. So they've also been, the emerging markets have also been hit with everything that's been going on this past week. It's a shame because in my last video, I think the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets ETF, this one here, I think it was actually one of my best climbers for that week. So things have changed here, not for the better. So my investment with this is 20 units, which those 20 units are worth £890.80. So it's shown a return of £68.01. So this overall is 8.27% up on the portfolio. But yeah, from last week, it's down 2.25%. So let's head into my allocation. So the only change here from last week is the fact I've now got Cine World added to my list of investments. I've now got 14 investments and portfolio values a total of £6,583.28. So the FTSE 100 is still taking up most at 27.98%. S&P 500 26.93%. Then they've got the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets at 13.53%. We've got Shell at 12.93%. And everything else you can see there is under 10%. And to summarise, not the best weeks at all. We are still in the green, but only by the skin of our teeth. And that is at £27.13. So 0.41% up. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens as the markets open tomorrow morning. We'll see if this goes shooting up, which would be nice to see. Or it might tumble even further and we might actually see some red. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this update. If you are looking to start investing with Trading212 perhaps, please consider signing up through my referral link. I will pin that link in the top comment of this video. It will also be in the description of this video. Sign up with my link, you will receive a free share of a company worth up to £100 in Trading212. And I will also receive another free share with a company up to the value of £100. As always guys, thanks for watching this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel if you want more updates and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video and I look forward to speaking to you all in the comments.